Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well. You know I have a bag and box problem. I love them, I just, I'm addicted to them. And today I'm gonna to bring you yet another. This one is a bag. This is the Highlander M50 rucksack. Let me turn around so I can show you. It's a 50 litre rucksack and it's large internal spaces mean that you can carry a lot more for your 50 litres than you can do with other packs. It is a very comfortable wear as well. Let me show you more about that internal capacity. I'm gonna take out what it's full with right now and I literally have in there everything I need to survive. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what's in this pack. It's gonna take me a while to unload it all. But that's how much is in there. So what I'm gonna do is speed up the footage right now um, I'll put a list up on the screen of what's actually included. Um, it's, it's not my, um, my full pack because I've recently been camping. I've taken things out of there uh, that I didn't need on that particular camp and I don't know if I've put them back just yet. Right, that is the pack unloaded. I, I was right, I don't have everything there, but um, it's a good selection. So I'll just talk you through what I've got because it's, uh, it's quite fun. I'll just unmount you guys from over here. So in that pack there, I managed to get a pack of over trousers for if it gets particularly wet a DD camping hammock, a DD XL tarp. I managed to get a Dynamo wind-up lantern, two walkie-talkies. Um, that's just my tinder box there um, with a spork on top, my first aid kit, um, emergency blanket, that's my inhaler right there, always spare medication, uh, two bandanas. That's a four season sleeping bag there. That's a big bulky sucker and that had no problem going in there. Um, I've also got some uh, six inch um, yellow um, ABS plastic tent pegs right there. Next to that, I don't know if you can see it right here, we've got a, a large selection of paracord. And uh, next to that, we have these bungee balls. Um, right next to that there, we've got the Bushbox XL, which is a, a fold flat stove where you burn twigs. We have here the Yugoslavian mess kit. In there, I have um, a one litre water bottle, uh, a pot, um, a, uh, a pan as well to cook on um, and cutlery and a cup i've also got a pair of gloves there just for my sand protection if i'm doing uh, particularly spiky things um talking of spikes we've got these massive 12 inch um spike tent spikes here which um, i've not managed to use yet just because everywhere i found has had great ground so uh, i've had those for for quite some time and not used them which is sad um uh, here I also have my SE knife and fire steel, my Baco Laplander saw and my trenching trowel which is a Cochrane's um, backpacker trowel. And next to that under here, oh, th this is just something for filming so ignore that, that wouldn't normally be with me. I have a um, st my Stanley E-Cycle uh, hip flask and my Camel Bushcraft uh, Melbank bag. So that is literally a lot of gear and minus food but I tell you what there is so much space left in there even when it's all packed in there I could have easily have got seven days worth of rations in there easy no problem and that's that'd be eating three times a day so absolutely enough space to hold lots of gear okay I'm going to talk about the features of this particular rucksack we're going to start with the external features and then move to the interior ones obviously the first exterior feature is that it is a multi-terrain camo pattern it's Highlander multi-terrain camo in fact um, meaning that you can use this in most um, scenarios and situations and you will retain some level of lower visibility and you'll be able to, to camouflage yourself slightly better than if you were to, to have a bright red one, for example. Um, the material itself is a, a thousand denier fabric, so it's quite a strong, dense weave. We have, as you can see here, a multitude of molly loops. These molly loops enable you to place um, 
any Molly system pack onto them. We have them down there, here, and on the side. So they're, they're extremely ample to say the least. On the outside, we also have, on the bottom, drainage holes. Again, always nice to have drainage holes, especially here in the UK and other wet climates. It gets wet, things get, water gets in, it needs to get out in some way, and that's the way it gets out. Um, you'll also notice that there are quick attachment molly points on the bottom here, four of them. So you can put your bed roll on that nice and easily, carry it on the bottom. This carries nice and high on the back, so um, that bed roll will be a nice lumber support or at least a uh, comfortable lumber support uh, in addition to the pack let's flip this round i'll show you some of the padding we have padding here on the shoulder straps and on the waist strap um, the padding is very nice very comfortable and very thick we have the padding here as part of the back air mesh system that sounds like it's really gimmicky but i'll actually get into that a bit later on it's, it sounds gimmicky but it works very well in fact i can't fault it um, uh, the Accessories are Duraflex material, which reduces your stress points, uh, the stress on the stress points. So the buckles are all Duraflex. The the grab handle is Duraflex. The grab handle is a nice feature as well. Um, the zips. I'm just trying to remember what these are called. They're oh yeah, um, they're tough uh, number ten nylon zips. Again, always nice to have if a bag that's got a zip as its main function of opening and closing. If that zip breaks, the bag becomes somewhat use, useless or definitely reduces in its uh, utility. Let's get to the inside of the bag. I'm going to try to bring it up and show you that there's not too much to show, but um, I'm trying to give you a scale of the size inside of this thing. That is... I'm going to try and put my hand in to show you how deep it goes in. I mean, that's going up now to way past my elbow with my hand touching the bottom and that is just one open main cavity there's nothing else in there the only other thing in there and it's not actually dividing the cavity is this mesh pocket i particularly shove my um, my emergency things like my uh, medication my inhaler my first aid my emergency blanket things that i would need to get in a hurry into there because i know where they are at all times um the in front of this main compartment there is another large zipped area. I tend to keep my cooking apparatus in there, things to make fire, uh, anything I require to make food in there. It doesn't look like a very big space, but it actually expands to quite a sizable area. Um, it, again, very difficult to see on the camera, but I get a lot, you, a lot in there you've seen earlier. Um, below that, on the front, so that was that main area. Below that, there is this large oblong area i keep my long items in there such as my um my 12 inch uh, tent spikes i keep my knife my backhoe laplander anything that's got a bit of size that would be a bit annoying to keep in the main compartment that's what i keep in there it's a great little feature and because it's on the front it makes um things like getting your knife your your tools that you might need frequently it makes that a lot easier to get to the two side pockets very much the same uh, they're not detachable, they are uh, fully fixed. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, molly loops on there. Um, th they're a good size, you get your hand in there, uh, probably just past your wrist. For me, some of the best features of this product are the load carrying features and the padding of the pack itself. When you're wearing it, it really does feel very comfortable. And you can just keep walking and walking and walking and you just don't get tired of wearing it. I mean, I've, I've got packs where they're very comfortable, but after an hour and a half sort of trekking and hiking, you start to feel chafing here and there, in the shoulder, in the lower back, you get aches. But because of the, uh, the load carrying placement, and it sits quite high on your back, you, you, really, you really do not get those aches that you do with some other packs, especially the store-bought rucksacks that you might buy you know in a, in a regular shop just a 50 liter hiking camping type rucksack the air mesh system i know it sounds gimmicky as anything doesn't it and it, it really does sound gimmicky and when i looked into this particular rucksack i thought air, air mesh but it, it works right i'm a guy that perspires a lot i a, a lot I'm, that's all i can say without getting too gross 
So when I have something against my skin like a rucksack, when I take that rucksack off normally, my undergarments are soaking wet with sweat, as is the back of the bag. Now, this hasn't quite cured that, but what it has done is reduce it down so that I literally just have a small line down my back rather than sort of a whole wet patch. Um, so that for me is very beneficial and it's not something I expected from the, the air mesh, um, but it's, it's a very, very good system and the air circulation does work very well. As I mentioned before, the design of the interior space of the pack has been done very well you don't have the compartmentalization as you would in some packs which enables these big expanses of space to carry bulky and unusual kind of um, shaped items which is a very very nice feature if you're anything like me i've spent too long sometimes trying to get things to fit and then just going i won't take that with me and then you get to the camp and it's the one thing that you think why did i leave that behind so this enables you not to sort of have to compromise on what goes with you the downside to that, in a sense, is that some people might say that the lack of compartmentalization stops you from, from first of all, being organized and being able to find things easily. And secondly, stops you from carrying smaller items that may just like get lost down the pack. And, and that's no good. But that is taken care of by the ample Molly webbing on this thing. It really is everywhere. So if you've got small requirement needs, if you've, you have a small space that you want to hold a particular kind of thing, if you want to have a small bag of uh, for your first aid, whatever it is, you know, if, if you have something small that you want to carry, you don't want to have to root around for it, you just buy a small molly pouch, that goes on the outside, and that takes care of that. I mean, it's not like you don't have any space anyway. You've got the side pockets and the internal mesh pocket and that front smaller pocket anyway to, to hold any smaller items. So you're not short on small space, but if you want more, it's easily added. This bag is great for anyone that enjoys the outdoors. It can be used in many different environments and it can even be used if you're a prepper or survivalist, one of those type of guys, uh, and you fear either the zombie apocalypse or uh, the impending World War III that seems to be happening, then you need your bug out bag, your grab bag. You need to be able to t get that bag, get out and have everything in there. This bag certainly fits that criteria. It also has enough room left over for all of your emergency ration packs. It has a high level of comfort as well, as I've mentioned previously. The great thing about the comfort level is that you're not going to get to camp and have to nurse a sore back. And that's due to not just the comfort of the padding, but the, the positioning of the, the load carrying positioning that the actual pack has. The other thing I'd like to mention regarding the, uh, the comfort um, aspect is the mobility. Sometimes you get a pack and you can't really move your full array of movements. No trouble moving in every direction with this pack. Um, I, I really think it's managed to marry together both strength and comfort in a, a very, very powerful way. Buy this and more at meanandgreen.com.